So, I'll, as best that, right, okay, this is the elephant in the room now. If you've got a fart, it's probably going to be on this one or open leg rocker. I warn you, I am in a farty mood today. You're in a far and line. Now, now, on a serious note, because you will come across this when you're in classes, that does usually create a bit of a laugh or a bit light-hearted anyway, because you can get some classes sometimes that are a bit dour. There's certain things you can do. I use the term tricks, if you like, or things you can do thinking you're saying make it a bit more light-hearted. I mean, feet together, knees together. You lift your feet off the floor. Oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> ah, okay, so on that note, can you see that? So some days it's okay, today it's not. You're trying to get your heels as close to your bum as you can. You're trying to get your knees together. Now, this is where the anatomy of males and females is different. It has nothing to do with the testicles. It's to do with the placement of the acetabulum. It's got to be more problematic for a man, it's anatomy, it's structural, for them to get the knees together. More problematic for a muscle called the tensio fascia latia, which is basically the IT band. It's the muscle of the IT band. Tensio fascia latia is up here, the IT band crosses over and goes here. Helps with their stability. Anyway, oh, that's why some men can't get the knees, or they're going to be more problematic for a man to get the knees together. I'll show you the movement, I'll do a silent demonstration as best I can. His version, and again, I'm sorry about fart. I'm not going to do any more. So, his version. Feet are together and your knees are together. You're basically giving yourself the biggest hug you possibly can. Keeping the heels close to the bum, keep the forehead to the knees, keep the thighs into the chest, and then you point the feet, just have the feet nice and light. It's balanced. You breathe in as you roll back, breathe out. As you come back up, just land the feet lightly. Well, you can have the option of not landing them at all. Knackered, man. Anyway, uh, issues within our class. People's thighs, belly, and boobs can get in the way. In which case, you won't be in that position because of the thighs, the belly, and all the boobs. They'll be like that. Mechanically, what does that do to the lower back? We're after the curve in the lower back, so we actually wobble. So we roll, sorry. I think the weebles wobble, but they don't fall down. That's something else you can say while they're doing it. That usually gets a laugh. So you want the back to arch the other way, so it actually rolls rather than flat. What sometimes can happen is if you've got large thighs, belly, or boobs, all lack the flexibility, your thighs will be further away. What does that do? Mechanically, it flattens the lower back, so you're more likely to get that. Yeah? Another thing, which Tanya's mentioned already, your forehead, as a basic, forehead's towards the knees. You're looking down towards the groin, bit of a grim view, but there you go. Keep it there. What can happen? Exaggerate it. People look up, and the back flattens, because your body goes, your, body, your spine is effective as you look, does that and flattens a bit. Well, I'm knackered now. Let's have a try and I will try to do a few different variations. Surprisingly, quite a few you can do to this. So bring yourself to the edge of your mat. Make sure there's nothing in your way. You're not going to roll over to your side and smash anything. Bring yourself to the edge of your mat. Put your feet together, put your knees together. You okay doing this? No, I'm good. Okay. No, it's okay. Okay, so can you hold yourself in that position though? Right, okay. Give yourself the biggest hug you possibly can. Oh, come on, love yourself more than that, Kelly.